What is up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Punning for the People. For those of you who are new to the channel, my name is Jacob. I'm an Australian. I'm living here in Germany, studying and playing football. And this is my YouTube channel, Punning for the People. If you're not subscribed, I would love to have you as a subscriber. Joining us along these fun journeys that I make in my vlogs. We are no longer in Vanagoroda. We are in the Harz Mountains still. But I don't know if you have sharp eyes or you can see this nice big line behind me. We are at Titan 458. That is the longest suspension or hanging bridge in the world. It is in Germany, it is in the Harz Mountains. I had no idea this was even here. They have tons of adrenaline filled activities and this is one of them. You can walk along it from right up the top there all the way down to there. It's pretty extreme. I've done a couple of really exciting things in my life but I haven't been across a bridge like this or anywhere near as long as this, obviously. So we're gonna take you along the uh, walk of death. But for now, let's uh, let's get walking. Welcome aboard the longest hanging bridge in the world, in the Harz Mountains in Germany. But... <laughs> seeing behind me and just up there it's actually a zip line you go down head first like you're flying um, and you go over the water and over the trees and I think it's like it's gonna be at least a 500 meter zip line it's pretty crazy apparently you get up to speeds of like I know it's 50 miles or 50 kilometers an hour I'd love to do it but I'm not sure how expensive it is and I'm also not sure how um, available the spots are so maybe after we finish with the bridge we'll see if maybe I can go down So it's pretty windy up here, but surprisingly enough, the bridge is pretty flexible. It actually moves when you walk down it, and every step everyone takes, you can feel it actually shifting the bridge. So the wind's not too bad, but the movement of the bridge with all the people on it is kind of a bit unsettling, at least for Marianne more than me. I'm a little bit more comfortable, but it's still a weird feeling. <laughs> 
So we're currently in the middle of the bridge. We're halfway across. It's a little bit more stable. I think it's got a bit of a platform underneath it. Um, but look at this. Look at the water. We're about to walk over the water. And then on the other side, you've got basically like a dam. A dam wall, I think. I don't know what you call it in German, but this is crazy. Marianne's freaking out a little bit because of the swaying and we are still only 50% done. Yeah, but I'm afraid of heights, so... So, I've done some extreme stuff before. I have been skydiving back in Australia. So this, in terms of heights, is definitely not the highest I've been. The fact that you're walking and not diving at super crazy speeds, it's a little bit more, I guess, nerve wracking knowing that you can only walk over so slow. It definitely has nothing on skydiving, but it is a really cool kind of extreme experience without having to be too majorly athletic. Just having a walk across this bridge is, um, is something to get your heart pumping. And that's the reason why they call it heart's adrenaline. shows how much this bridge actually does rock and move. It is stable, but the rocking that it gets with these people on it is quite extreme. Um, definitely not for the faint-hearted. We're at the end, we are in Fertig. 458 meters suspension bridge finished. Titan is the longest suspension bridge or longest hanging bridge in the world, as I mentioned. So we have just walked across. Marian nearly had a heart attack. Got my heart pumping a little bit. Definitely something for some ad adrenaline junkies that are in Germany and want to check this out. So guys, that was the Giga Swing, and we waited a little bit because of the wind and because I had to get set up and everything, but whoa, that would be crazy. Like free falling from that distance over that dam, just unbelievable. We have stopped and got some candy um, before we head out. Luckily, we got here right in time because check out the line that was here when we were leaving. When we got here, there was no line at all, so we were lucky. Now we're going to find something to eat and uh, wrap up this day before we head back home. So guys, we had on our way out of the Titan some very, very nice bratwurst and bockwurst and probably the best chips that I've had since being in Germany, they were delicious. They actually reminded me a little bit of the chips that we get at home from the really nice fish and chip stores in Brisbane. So that was great. We are now back in Venegaroda because Marianne's mum has to pick up her car and then we are heading back home to Hildesheim. That is it for our journey in Venegaroda and the Hartz Mountains. I hope you enjoyed the last three vlogs. If you did, feel free to subscribe to the channel and obviously be a part of the punning for the people community. And guys, if you enjoyed the last two weeks of vlogs from Hanover to Hamung to Venegaroda to 
Titan bridge to the top of the Brocken. I hope you did, we did. All of that could not have been made possible without two people. Number one is obviously Marianne because I don't have a car. She takes me everywhere. We do everything <laughs> together. She's basically my translator, my taxi, and my uh, moral support when we're doing these things <laughs> and I'm making these videos. And also, Marianne's mum, who obviously you guys know has been visiting for the last week. We made so many videos and if she hadn't have been visiting, we would have just been staying at home and I probably would have been playing PlayStation. As you guys know, I lost my job, but Marianne's mum coming here, she wanted to make sure we made the most of the holiday that we had. Um, so we did a lot of really, really cool stuff and it wouldn't have been possible without Marianne's mum and Marianne. So make sure in the comments to thank Marianne and make sure to thank Marianne's mum, Karen, because all of this was basically her doing. Yeah, like I said, the vlogs have been pretty boring if we had just sat at home yeah. and done what I wanted to do. So <laughs> yeah, but guys, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you really, really liked the vlogs from earlier this week and last week, and obviously this one as well. As always, my name is Jacob. This is Punny for the People. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. See ya.